Welcome back ladies and gents, you guys are watching the none other than one of the most prestigious event of the year. It's going to be the World Esports Championship, which is going to be brought to you by IESF 2022. We're in Bali, I'm Chi Chi, your casters, your storytellers, and none other than our co-star co here. I call it star. Cool star. It's going to be all doggy, yeah? All right, then. I'm your co-star. You're my co-star. We are Coco star Coco star Just like Hydro Coco happens. Wow. Oh, there That's you go. a good bridging, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I am feeling, doggy. So good, but I don't know. Saudi Arabia is too strong. I hope the other teams have the chance to shine also like Saudi Arabia. Hey, but at least I know one person is not complaining. Who is that? Not the Saudi Arabia team. It's going to be a production crew because they don't have to change the graphic or the flag anymore. Oh, it's actually true. <laughs> They just need to copy for the second, it's third, one, fourth, and fifth game. One flag for the yeah. entire day, except for the first match. And that's it. The only team that got a bit of a difference between Saudi Arabian um, streak is going to be Brunei team yeah. in the first game. Now, this is going to be the last match of Saudi Arabia. And also and, Brunei. And yeah, that's yeah. true. After this, we get a different flag entirely, hopefully. Yeah. I mean, like, if they happen to be after that, there as well. I don't know what happened. Yeah, but, 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 <laughs> it, but surely there will be... Uh, after this fight, but Sanok, I, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe still can be Saudi. Uh, they, 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 they want Sanhok. They want Sanhok, yeah. They actually already won all the maps. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, if Vikendi comes back, they might actually still win it. Maybe. <laughs> if you put Levek, if you put Nusa map. Nusa, I think of Nusa, yeah, we in Nusa do our fun. Yeah, inspired by Bali actually. Yeah, you didn't, the way we mentioned it, I'm like, yeah, that's kind of true. I didn't think about it at first. Yeah, even when. Uh, the, the, when Nusa came out, one of the uh, important person in Indonesia, which is Mr. Sandiaga Uno, mm -hmm. yeah, he delivered speech for Nusa itself. Oh, yeah. I wish we have one one day for for Malaysia too. I hope. <laughs> I hope. I'm not sure how big will the map will be. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> but back to it's about game jokes okay. aside. Now, can they put another streak going on? Like, unless if the opening and the closing for the group A itself mm. is a different team, and Saudi Arabia is like in the middle of all the other games, it's gonna be theirs. Okay, but this is really not good, I think, because all the chickens are coming from group A, even though well, <laughs> yeah. four, four of the chickens coming from Saudi, so oh, sorry. Yeah. I hope the last game will be the game for group C. You know what? That's a good point, by the way. Yeah, group A do have Saudi Arabia as, you know, as the strongest of. We, we witnessed all group already, right? A, B, and C. Yeah, A, B, and C. Okay. So I think group A is the strongest by far, with Libya just now got himself also a good consistent. But we don't want to waste any more time. Let's go to it's the middle map. We call it 4x4 of Sunhawk, the, the rainforest map, to see if there's any healing game. Let's like go. how we used to know. Yeah, used to know is used to happen from the previous Sunhawk. So, yep, this is the Saudi teams again. They were already dropping off, going towards Paradise Resort, or maybe uh, area around it, but I think they will go to the Paradise Resort. But the flight path, not bad for all the players, but I see from Group A and C, they intend to gathering up near the northern part of the map right now. Okay, the one that I'm actually witnessing is there's only two teams, Egypt and also Jordan, coming up from the southern part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, that's a good sign because Sami especially, if you want to play healing mm -hmm. game, that's so much utility you can actually gain just from Sami. But northern side, this is a bit overcrowding. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All the place from the north side, the boot camp and also the central part of the map near the camp alpha, near the ruins, a lot of team. But Maldives, Maurev. St uh, start the game with an, a knockdown also Brunei so I think yeah three teams showdown right at the north side of the map this is the area uh, above or near the Paradise Resort yeah. near the main bridge on the north side so yeah a lot of team uh, are getting here back to it's the side of uh, Brunei's both teams are fighting against each other. It's already so... Look at Bomb. This is just... Oof. My God. How many teams are there? Are a lot of teams, I guess. But One, two, three, four, five, uh, six, Chuchu, seven. Chuchu, I think Bomb is a wrong minimap. 
Okay, it's, it's I'm, like, I, I'm like, I'm surprised if that really happened. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's just the starting of the game. But okay. Senegal and so Libya, one of the players from Senegal knocking one of the players from Libya, but the trade happened. So not a good situation for both of the team. But back again to the north side, Prestige even going out from Paradise. He knows a lot of team around Paradise and he wants this opportunity. But Libya... Zeus just won the elimination, the first one for his team, but interrupted by Sri Lanka, if I'm not mistaken, from the other place. And also Djibouti drowned himself in the moment. We're back mm -hmm. towards the side of a... Uh, well, there's going to be a lot of team fighting too much. I'm yeah, like, yeah. I can't even keep up with the kill feed anymore. The Paradise Resort feels like hell's resort for the time being, honestly yeah, yeah, yeah. speaking. Back to us, uh, there's the side of the team in Group A. We have Azerbaijan. Ooh. Saudi, my god, that's brutal finish of Guatemala just like that. The Guatemala players just want to vault towards the window, but the S12K coming from D7. I think D7 is a very special uh, player with shotgun because the previous Sandrock D7 also using the DBS. Uh, you mentioned the DBS. about yeah. this is their last match for the day for the Saudi Arabia. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. They are more aggressive than they usual. Like we always said they're waiting for the third and fourth circle, but this is not even in the middle <laughs> of the first circle. And the same goes for the side of Brunei. They're trying to do the same thing as how Saudi Arabia uh, team is actually doing. But for Libya, they are still trying to finish off Sosti, who's coming up from Sri Lanka teams. Basti managed to reset Zeus. In the meantime, they're too hesitant. They can just push forward. This is opportunity being waited on the side of Sri Lanka team. But yeah, the Nate is the key, I guess. They got one player from Libya right now, but still, Susti, I don't know what he wants to do because I, I, I still do not see the other teammate close enough for them. So this is it. Doom will shot from the other place. Knocked down. Libya just left alone with only one player. This is not a good situation for them. It's really hard for Libya because I think Sri Lanka will got all the elimination they need because one shot. Left alone. The but last game, two players can survive till yeah. the end, but one player I think is so hard, especially in Sanho. But the thing is, I, I'm surprised how Sri Lanka is just too hesitant. Why are they not confident to push forward? They mm. got the upper hand. They already knocked down so many times to the side of Libya play. All they need to do is just having that one commencing union to just push forward. But they're not doing that. They're just wasting their time here. It might be a third party coming up very soon. Just around. We do know how crowded it can get to as a boot camp, right? Yeah. So they need to wrap things up fast for the side of Sri Lanka team. I think in the movement coming from Sri Lanka, depending on Doom, because Doom is actually the player who move around, going to the other uh, place from the other tree. Mm -hmm. uh, so he, he can do backstep. He can do another angle for the other enemy. But... Yeah, that's just my speculation. I agree oh, with maybe you. Maybe that's true. Yeah, maybe, maybe that's true. Uh, but yeah, Sri Lanka just missed their moment to get more elimination. But I think they w they just want to play quite safe because Sanok is quite tricky when you uh. do fight with the others. The third party maybe can come, right? Uh, I'm going to have a rebuttal here. Are you kidding me? Why would you want to play safe when you've got so many knockdowns <laughs> earlier? All you need to do, you have your partner around you. Just, you know... Hold their hands, move together move like a together. happy three friends. Yeah, there you go. But back to the side of Sri Lanka, did just, just go for it. Go I, for it. I think they tried to search it, but the player from Libya already quite far enough. So they do not see <laughs> so it. So ice again. cream in their face when they go for it. <laughs> they, they are kind of yes. Why, why are the castles stream on us? Why are the castles <laughs> looking at us like they're angry? <laughs> but they got opportunity. It's both left and right. They can. Yeah. They got the knockdowns. All they need to do is just the execution. Just convert it to it's a point that they need. Yeah, yeah, but on the yeah. side of Pakistan team now, this is a very interesting. Senegal. I noticed that they're really trying so hard mm. to go as aggressive as they can. Same goes for Pakistan. It feels like both teams having sort of same vibe right now. Oh, yeah. But for Senegal, the main problem is still the same when they are packing around together without any, uh, what, mm, position on purpose. I think uh, this is so. Uh, this is not still a good gameplay coming from them, especially they want to go out from Ruins area. And it's quite open, but because the circle, I think they just need to uh, holding the position right now. But same vibes with Pakistan, like you already mentioned earlier. They still do the same strategies. So that's why I mentioned earlier Pakistan, I think the most consistent team. 
They still do the same strategy, go to the circle, defend it well, but again, when they do not fight, when they do not move around, I really uh, concerned about this, their muscle memory, but the but fight... At least they yeah. are more active than active, Ghana. Active, yeah. More active than Ghana. We can actually just compare that by reality. I'm sorry, there's going to be mm. fact check all the way. We notice that Ghana actually really good when it comes to positions. Yeah. But it's just they need to be more active, more proactive, just have a bit of a dare moment and be pushed forward. That's what different between Pakistan. I have a feeling Pakistan and Senegal might actually really adapt so well in this tournament. By tomorrow, a lot of things will change. Ooh, because of their gameplay, because of their uh, move, Benem, I think one of the key from both of these teams is their patience. Because it is not easy, right, to play at the tournament level sabar. and you're just, yeah, sabar, defending your compound, not doing anything, right? But yeah, let's see lah. Because Pakistan still need the the point oh. for that. But Libya finally the last man standing. This is the one, right? Sri Lanka finally fight the last uh, man standing no. from Libya. Finally. Finally. I'm. Well, what a fight. What a fight. I, I, it took them so long to finish that fight. They, they can actually do two or three fights if yeah. they finish that early on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they can they can move uh, further, right? Uh, when they finish it earlier. But I think that's a good tracking coming from uh, Sri Lanka. At least because, they gained yeah, it. Yeah. At, at least they gained it. At the, least they the, didn't the leave it just pass by like how they did before. I, I just wish Sri Lanka really have just a bit more courage to push themselves forward because yeah. that's all they need to do, have a, a bit of confidence. Confidence. And back to the side of Senegal, they're taking a the compound for themselves. But mm. Djibouti, on the other hand, they try to do as much. I, I love how Russia goes when it comes to Djibouti's team. He's just so active. He just keep on gaining information for the rest of the team. And you can feel like he's a player that we don't have any background check before. But the way he plays, it never shows any sort of nervousness at all. Yeah, coming from Djibouti, Djibouti I think the one problem for them is still the fight. But uh, I'm really curious about the next time not because they will meet Chinese Chinese Taipei, the uh, the Alpha Island uh, players or oh, yeah. team. So let's see later because one player from uh, Djibouti already knocked out from the game. So three players. I think they really want to load all the compounds around the Alpha Island area so they can do the healing game maybe. Because I mean, three, three players to, to push around is not easy, especially I, they will across the bridge. I think it depends on who being... Uh, yeah. I, I mean, like, I, I don't want to take any credit from them mm -hmm. or from each other player. All the players are really good, but the mind, the mastermind of, I think, for Djibouti right now is going to be Russia. If Russia is still there, they still have direction, they still have that GPS moment to yeah, actually yeah, have yeah. somebody to guide them. But when Russia is not there, it's a bit of a problem for Djibouti, if yeah. you notice. Kind of chaotic, right? The gameplay yeah. is not on point anymore for the Djibouti. And, uh, Itself, so yeah, Russia, not the Jeff flag then. <laughs> maybe because he's the second captain. Yeah, yeah maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, maybe because he's the second captain. So, so, so proud, so proud of the country, right? Jeff flag. Yeah, he's like, yeah, he's the, you know, when some ancient Maldives time, like Maldives, no, ancient, uh, ancient times of war, mm -hmm. where you have the men who hold the oh, flag. Oh, hold the flag. So, yeah. so basically, Russia is the general, he's mm -hmm. the flag holder. Oh. So he's Jeff flag. So he's a GF flag. He 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 support the more boost for the players. Yeah, fight. yeah. It's yeah, like yeah, the yeah. ancient Greek times of a fight, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There you go. I know, I know. Fair enough, fair enough. Fair enough. Back to the side of Brunei oh, now. Brunei. What went wrong from being one of the best teams out there now, slowly being pushed downward? Even Azerbaijan just really better when it comes to this within a same day improvement. Back to the side of Pakistan team versus Egypt. Now, Egypt, we don't have too much highlight for them. I don't know what happened throughout the entire day for them as well. We didn't get a lot of glimpse. But feels like we kind of know they're having a bit of a problem when they're being rushed in. They hmm. can't handle the, their fault. I think, yeah, the, the main problem is about the, their fault. Because I think Egypt being taken down by Pakistan uh, uh, earlier is... They are not aware enough because Pakistan just setting up the traps. You see, they are holding a lot of stones, a lot of obstacles around the uh, bridge area. And I think Egypt doesn't know that Pakistan <laughs> hold this exact position. Because the fight just, just, just went off uh, that way. And 
without any damage coming for Pakistan it, it players. Like, it's like it, they don't even break a sweat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it feels like they. I don't know if you want to say it's ambushed, but at the same time, I feel like it's Pakistan team is actually ambushing the side of Egypt. Yeah, that, that that's what I'm. Uh, that's like what I want to talk about <laughs> because <laughs> the Egypt just moving around. But what suddenly, were they doing all the time? I don't know. They were like they were not prepared for that at all. I guess because yeah, there's no damage inflicting to Pakistan, so yeah, it, it's it's very easy lah for Pakistan before because <laughs> Egypt doesn't wear yeah, players I, I, are there. Yeah, I, I think they they need to do something yeah, about yeah. this because we see now even I we we're not done for the entire day yet. Yeah, yeah. But we just see the derby of Group C and this is their third game. From here now, we can only see, we can we are starting to see. Some teams are adapting really fast, some teams are dominating, mm -hmm. and it's already a big gap between some teams really can't catch up. Yeah, that's that's uh, for the first day, I think they need to 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 know first like, where, where, how the enemy play, how how uh, they play not that good. They need to know what is the downside of their gameplay. So I hope, especially for, for Group C, they need to escalate their gameplay at the next day because when it comes to Group B, even though the chicken are uh, coming from the group A, but they still fight. Yeah. They still have a good fight with the group A, but group C, I, I think they really need to upscale their gameplay by data that they collected today. Yeah. Uh, I agree, especially if we accumulate all three groups as a whole in the data performance. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling a group A is the strongest one. It's a group of death. Yeah, yeah. So group B, um, I don't know. I, I, I don't feel like it's just this much of a difference. So mm -hmm. it's still in the sort of a middle bracket for everyone. It's a bit more stable, but, but group, group C, C, yeah. It's like a big gap between, I, I mean like some teams are really good. Example here, I'm gonna say Jordan, even in the case of Djibouti and even Guatemala. Guatemala. Now, Maldives actually got himself in the top five before, but for Ghana and Egypt, now this is the team that really struggles when it comes to the first day. Yeah, I mean, Ghana has the, had the challenge for Miramar before, they have the zone, they have the compound, but they can't uh, execute for the lot for the late game. They are too enjoyed, they are too comfortable with their position. They uh, what intend to like forget to move, forget about their object uh, objective yeah. when it comes to the late game. So so sorry for Ghana for uh, for the I just previous hope, Miramar. I, I think tomorrow they can be better. At yeah, least I they got, so. they they can study for today's rotation but yep, back yep, yep. to the side of the circle just now it was going to be a final Oof. circle sri lanka feels like they got the right path our problem is they're facing jordan in between they happen to be bombing about just just clashing into jordan's right now and it feels like jordan when it comes to middle east team right they're just so good at playing the hills here in the sun yeah 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 they, they can control the hill quite well and i think uh, yeah the push coming from them is quite on point even sri lanka already knocked you down told the player doom want to do the flank but it failed so sri lanka right now i think just want to uh, went out to the other place with a coup rb but is it successful for them because jordan's still catching up ragnarok uh, hazen uh, oh uh, don't flip the corner don't, don't flip, flip the corner Oh, yeah, well, he's safe yeah. for the day. He survived to fight down, I guess. <laughs> really close enough. Uh, Ragnarok, I can feel his furious, how he was disappointed just now, trying to pin down the player that's right across him, but failed to do so because of the vehicle just now. Back towards the side of Doom. Now, is it going to be anybody else's Doomsday or it will be his? Gaga proning down straight away, quite early for proning games. He's still in the third circle, yep, but yep, yep. too early. Yeah, because Doom wanted to do the flank earlier, but he failed because Jordan just too aggressive and pushed the other three player from Sri Lanka. So that way, Doom right on left behind because one of the friend, one of the player from Sri Lanka already moved around with the Coop RB. But I think Jordan knows or Jordan knew they only eliminated two players from Team Sri Lanka. So that way they are still aware. They are still scoping around. They are still hiding behind the obstacle because they know they are still one more person only one using the vehicle so there's still one person around them okay that's the thing you think there's only one person and then suddenly one another it, it may make it two teams out of nowhere happen okay. to be shooting you from behind that's where saudi always butts in yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's how they got themselves so many chickens so of the many day. chickens yeah 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 so let's see how saudi will play uh, this game because they already limited the three uh players and it's an early stage but right now when they do not need to fight when the fight is unworthy we can't see saudi at the mid to the late game because they are too objective about the 
zone, I guess. So, yeah, we can see Saudi, I guess, for the fifth zone. Not yeah. at the fourth, I guess. I don't know. I really wish it would be a different team inside because they des deserve the highlight. But at the same time, Saudi Arabia is just so strong, dominating the entire day here. We're talking about just not one game. Straight out of all the games that they played today, five games, they got themselves four chickens. And now it's going to be their sixth and last match of day number one. Can they close with another strong finish? But back towards the side of Ghana, they were actually struggling, chugging themselves into the blue zone. And Maldives start to push in towards the side of Azerbaijan. It's going to be Russia being knocked down first. We talked about this. Here's the mastermind for the team. It's not great for Azerbaijan. It's finished off. Feels like they're only left with only one member, Maldiv, with DBS now, taking a shot straight in the face. One team eliminated. It's going to be Djibouti, actually. Sorry for that. Placing quite early on in the bottom of everyone else. And I think this is a special thing I mean, from Maldiv. They are intent to play quite close combat and they really well about it. Uh, it proved by two of the players from Maldiv using DBS, so... I think they are so confident with their close combat gameplay, so that way it's so hard for Djibouti to defend themselves from Maldives. That's true. You know what, when it comes to Sunhawk, yeah, I forgot about DBS entirely. Yeah. It's a small map, it's a very close compound, so might as well just use DBS if they got a cannon. Yeah. I'm not surprised if somebody tried to do a bazooka or cannon for me happen one day. <laughs> I'm like, why not? Yeah, just why not? Then. Push it in. But DBS has 12k still uh, two best choices, I guess, for a close combat battle, especially at Sunhawk, especially when you want to push towards compound. Yeah. I remember this one patch we we actually witnessed when it comes to the pro scene where mm -hmm. a lot of almost everybody using micro Uzi, including the long shots. But uh, since DBS happens to be like this, meta. <laughs> this meta, meta and after the update, it just, you know what? Who cares about M416? It's DBS all the way in Sunhawk here. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, Fortless Combat is still one of the good choice. But Final Circle, right now, Pakistan still dividing two of their players at the right side, at inside of the circle. One is still there, but the need coming from Pain connected to the player from Senegal. I think I heard the what the shout coming from them. I think they yeah. won this fight because <laughs> when they want to go towards the high ground of Pain and they really need to secure all the compounds, they do not want to uh, be backstabbed by the players. Oh, they got backstabbed definitely by the side of Pakistan players. Uh, it's going to be one by one team falling off the chart. And we saw that Nate Olvos, he managed to evade it just in the nick of time. What a nice instinct there. How much more alert he can be. Maldives on the other hand, losing more men. They can count right now as Blues and clipping in and they've been pressured from the front line as well. Back to Southern Pakistan team, they got themselves a bit of a room and space to reset. Back to a society of Sri Lanka on the other hand. They are gatekeeping on the northern southern part yeah. of their circle. And the players that they are gatekeep again from the Egypt, I guess, the last man standing. And this is a very good situation because from the mini map, we can see that they are, there isn't any player near them. Exact player from Ghana, they will try to enter the zone, but Egypt eliminated like i already mentioned before and senegal right now already being knocked down to saudi like i already mentioned at the beginning i think we will see them at the fifth zone which is <laughs> right now so yeah saudi still control the zone pretty well but jordan got the center of the circle which just popped recently back to the side of saudi yeah. they are playing the blue zone but they are bulldozing people from behind yeah that's totally true they are bulldozing people they got a lot of elimination even six right now and they know there will be a lot of movement coming from painan but again they do not want this unworthy fight they are trying to see the way toward the circle so they do not want to go towards the rotation route of Painan. They are moving around towards the north, and I guess we'll enter from northwest side of this circle, I guess. So let's see. Now, here comes the shots coming up from Jordan. Leith try to gatekeep on the southeast of the circle itself, just on the outskirts of Corey. Leith couldn't find any, but the one that actually got himself oh. eliminated is going to be Senegal next. We're down to only eight teams within the fifth circle with 45 seconds taking the time out for the circle. Another one to be shrinking on into the blue zone. Now we have one more player left for Ghana to make it two, but they will be gatekeep quite hard to enter the circle. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, but I'm curious about Team Jordan because one of the players actually has MG3 right now. So for the close combat, it will be a very strong weapon. So let, let's see, Ghana, two of the players just being wiped out by Jordan. But when Jordan focusing on Ghana, another team coming for them. But Pakistan right now want to oh. shot towards the player from Saudi. But the Saudi players really amazing to defend their place. Even right now, only two active players from Pakistan. And look at Saudi, they are moving, they are swarming from South, from Pakistan. The last man standing, shot by Saudi. It's so low HP and another win for Team Saudi Arabia. This is just a perfect angle coming up from Saudi Arabia. The way they stand, the way they move as a whole, in unison, to know where to pick at the same time as a team. It was just flawless. Back to Son of Prestige now, making way to a Son of Jordan. Now, Jordan got himself in the center of circle, but the heart shift to a northern side in the last minute, making it hard for them to actually reach into the safe zone. Now, they need to make sure they won't be backed up. They definitely got Dami on the ground only, but Ragnarok couldn't place his crosser to a side of Saudi. They know exactly where to hide from this from those shots coming up from the Jordan team. Yeah, but one of the team has oh. the same task. They need to go toward the circle. The revive is happening from Saudi, but one of the players being knocked down also. So Jordan, this is the moment for them. And I really like what Jordan do right now. They send one player toward the circle, even though Brunei, the two players interrupting the fight. Again, Brunei, same goes <laughs> to the first game. They be the third party at the late game. Now, uh, this is interesting. At the top three left for this match right now, with three players remain. Slate spraying around to us the side of Saudi, but couldn't clip and didn't connect. And this is really crucial for the side of Jordan. He was holding the ground, the angle so much that the Jordan team really can dominate for a tiny bit. But now everything goes down the drain because the Bruneites will take the advantage. Jordan, they need to reset right now. They don't have the time. Oh my god, even the name connected Ragnarok will be one player still holding down the Molly coming, but Prestige, low HP, Dami is also low HP, but Rene shoot from the other place, knocking down player from oh. Jordan, and Jordan just being wiped out again. Saudi Arabia at the top three, top oh. two right now. Make it just, are they getting the chicken? Is it gonna be Brunei? No, it's gonna be Shango shot down on Saudi. They'll stop the hat trick. It's gonna be stopping the streak. Can Brunei get the opening and ending just like how I predicted? I'm an oracle right now. Shango jumping down, trying to get on Dami. Oh, he didn't connect. Brunei, the opening and the closing. There's only two flags for today, everyone. And there's this, only this. teams coming from group A. <laughs> so Brunei <laughs> with two, we know chicken and four from Team Saudi Arabia. <laughs> there's no other teams. There's no other teams. There's no uh, other. And there's only two teams playing right now. Yeah, two flags only. Yeah. For the six games. Let's go to the grand finals. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my, my God. No, they make it such a beautiful pattern when it comes to the scoreboard. Yep. Brunei, Saudi Arabia, and Brunei. Brunei. Yeah. But we still have three more match. We yeah. still have three more match. With different group, B and yeah, C. Both Brunei and also Saudi. They're not there. Yeah, so we are going to see the highlight from Sanok So, ladies and gentlemen, check this out. So, Brunei got. Oh, special thing about Brunei. Uh, yeah, they're, back they're, to us. We are the highlights, guys. <laughs> Brunei is only left with two players, right? Yeah, they managed to survive that long. Yeah, that's actually a really good gameplay coming from Brunei. And the timing when they knock one player from Jordan down is really on point because Jordan just focused to Saudi. Yeah. And Brunei took that uh, moment to knock them down. You know, we're just going to relive the moment. At the same time, we were, we were talking about that. But mm -hmm. now it feels like how Brunei plays in the last map here, mm -hmm. exactly how Libya plays in the previous map as well. They remain with two players, but they got themselves in the top three. It's just, the team struggles to keep the boat afloat. The, how did Saudi plays, even though they've been knocked down from afar, they just managed to get in like full force all the way. Like Jordan got the circle. They got the center. The, the circle hates them. Yeah. It hushed them all the way outside. Yeah, that, that's, that's totally true. But I, I want to mention one more thing when it comes to Saudi Arabia, even though they're already being knocked down by the enemies, but they can reset the situation. Yeah, they're zombies. Yeah, they're zombies actually. 
The living, the living dead. Yeah, right? they, they just don't know how to, how to, how to be a box. Yeah. They just keep on. It's like a tag game for them. It's like okay, I know, I don't know how they even reset themselves when they're being knocked down first. I think Ragnarok coming up from Jordan team knocked two of them down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did the Jordan actually just? Uh, it's the Bruno. It's the best. Yeah, it's, it's the Bruno backstabbing and also the shooting coming from Saudi is quite on point actually to Ragnarok. So when Ragnarok want to finish the knockdown. He's suddenly half health point because the backup coming from Saudi, then the blue day comes. Yeah. Uh, it's all about the timing, really. Because yeah. if you look at it, the Jordans, like how um, Doggy also mentioned that they didn't even have that thought that it might be a backstabbing from behind. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. didn't even focus anything. But this time, the elimination is a bit higher because bit higher. we only have 46, seven. yeah. <laughs> Not yeah. 48. Yeah, at least it's two different. Yeah, it's two different. But the the others like um, we do know it's gonna be Sun Hall. But I'm surprised how there's not much healing playing around. Yeah, it's quite different because previously the team that used the heal technique or the healing strategy is South Korea because South Korea is not playing. They are at the group B, oh, so yeah. I think A and C just want to fight for the next one. For the next one, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Are you gonna wait and see? Because we do have Vietnam, which is gonna be usually Eagle Esports who's already exposed to as a healing meta. So maybe they will apply that, they will not. It's up to them, really. But because sometimes you want to play healing game, but you can't, one of them any reason, because teams like Saudi Arabia is forcing you to yeah, fight. Yeah, to fight. Yeah, totally agree with that. Because when you want to do the healing technique, you need to find a good way to avoid fight. Right? But the thing is, they keep on poking you. But mm, I oh. think you can, you, you, you can use the strategy like South Korea did. The three players are making the other team busy, but the last one left oh, behind. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think a lot of uh, even the PMPL teams are doing that way as yeah. well. But the thing is, the biggest problem is where that one person that carries the most healing mm -hmm. happened to be suddenly died. No. <laughs> no. There will be total failed Wait, strategy. Mm -hmm. I think this, this yeah, oh, is Bruno the same. Bruno didn't actually move. I think that's the same uh, goes to uh, the previous asset. The Br Brunei move, we know that, right? It's the API, sometimes yeah. got stuck. So don't, don't worry about it. We do know that they move. The damage is like <laughs> remarkable. I, I, I don't know if I can trust this. <laughs> Two, triple nine? <laughs> Two for nine? Triple nine. Is that coincidence? Mm. Do, 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 do. <laughs> okay, back to it. What, what, what can we sum up between all the groups? I think just Group A. Yeah, Group A is know. the strongest. That's the summary. Okay, if you were <laughs> to put the person or the team on the second here, which team would you put it on? Except from Saudi, and then who's next? Brunei. But their performance is not as consistent. But still, they are not far ahead. I mean, like, even though they throw, I guess, one map, but the next, they can go towards the top five and with some elimination. So I think they are still stable at the top two. Top Top two, not top, not even top three, I guess. They top, are they still top two? I think like you have to consider Libya as well. Libya have been performing slowly but steadily, are uh, progressing. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, when it comes to Group C, I'm looking at. I think Group C the most promising is going to be Jordan, mm -hmm. um, and Maldives. For the even Gu Guatemala is not 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 too shabby either. Guatemala is actually good at Irangel the first yeah. game, but I don't know about the second and third game they. They kind intend of. to kind of shaky performance, right? I agree. Yeah. But I think the Jordan team is actually the most stable coming out from Group C. Yeah, I think Jordan have, has the potential to uh, get a lot of points coming from Group C. But the problem for Jordan is I think they need to consider their uh, their objective when they want to get keep, but they do not. Uh, they they can't forget there's still possibility uh, teams around them. So they they can't just focus to one team. For Jordan. Yeah, 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 I agree. Because sometimes, you know, when you get too... F it's a tunnel vision thing we call tunnel it, right? Vision, yeah, so yeah. it's always a problem with pro players where they are tunneling vision just on, onto one spot on one objective only. You forgot that this is a battle royale game. It's going to be more than one team, as always. Yeah, that's totally true. So that way, I think that's the only message from us to Jordan. But this is what are you guys waiting for about the overall oh, ranking. Yes. Yeah. So... Yeah. Check this out, the overall ranking. Saudi I, number one. I think there's like, what? Well, can we see if he can break the record with the most chickens here? Eh? Four chickens in a day, 153. That's like literally 40 points. No, 60 points. 
You can't even get 30 points in this map in one round because of how many teams are playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm speechless. 153 divided by 6, so it's more than 20 points on average. And Brunei is also having a gap between the second and third place. Look at how... Okay, this is what I worry most if we ended up... I don't think the Grand Finals we ended up like this, right? Having the same points. <laughs> no, 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 no. There will be not like this, but... The gap point coming from Brunei to Libya, even though they are on the same group, this is what I said, uh, this is what I'm talking about. Brunei, I think, will still be the number two. They just need to find their consistency gain. Mm. But the other, I think w we can say that, even though this is only the first day, it's safe to say, out of 11, two already secured by the top two right now. The one, the one that I really kind of worry for right now is Azerbaijan. If you look at the second page, the only team with six matches played mm. for the entire, because that's going to be the max players yep. playing. And they are the only team with six matches on the second page there. So I, Azerbaijan, we can see their potential of improving, yep. but I, I, one thing I noticed about them having a bit of a problem is not about how well can they improve mm -hmm. it's more towards they can't execute they have a lot of knockdown but they can't wrap it up they can't finish the deal for me the fact that we watch a lot azerbaijan it shows that they fight a lot true right and it happened at the early stage of the game even though they can't they, they can win the fight it's only two or even one player left they can't go they can't go far at the game oh that's really harsh yeah. coming out from is like you can't go far you shall not pass. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? We're going to have a bit of a break. And after this, we're going to have Donut joining in the crew on the table and the castle stairs as well. I think he needs to rest for a bit for Doggy and have a very good, very good day after this. So see you guys in a bit. Thank you so much, Doggy. Thank you so much, Chuchu. Bye-bye.